We want to rewrite this expression, 1 minus 2 sine squared pi over 12, using a double angle formula, and then we want to find its exact value. What you want to do is look at the form that this is in and take a look at your double angle formulas and see which one that this most resembles. So if we look at that, there's only going to be one formula that resembles this, and that's going to be the uh, double angle formula for cosine. That's cosine 2 theta equals 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. This is actually the one that it resembles. So again, you always want to look at, see which one works. So we're going to take the right-hand side of the formula and we're actually going to rewrite it into the left-hand side. That's what this problem wants you to do is recognize that you have this and we'll be able to take it over into cosine 2 theta. If I tried to do this on my own with a calculator, I, couldn't, I, could, I could get an approximation, but we want to have the exact value on this. Pi over 12 is not an angle that's on our unit circle. However, if I apply this formula, it will take me into something that I can get off of my uh, table. So therefore, uh, if I have pi over 12 here, that means in this, in this problem, we can go ahead and say that theta equals pi over 12. So that's, that's the theta that's inside here resembles this. So whatever I put here for theta, that means that on the left-hand side when I rewrite it, I'm putting two cosine times two times theta. So therefore, I can take all this on the right-hand side and rewrite it as a single trig function that's going to be cosine two times pi over 12. That's what happens there. This theta here is the same theta in the first part, so I can go ahead and put that in, and now I've changed the problem into the left-hand side, which is this. This simplifies cosine pi over 6, and cosine pi over 6, that is something we can get off of our table, and so if we look at the table, the exact value for that is going to be square root of 3 over 2, which means that all this here, that's going to turn into square root of 3 over 2. So even though this number pi over 12 is not on our table, this one is, because we use the double angle formula.